What was life like for you growing up as a kid? It was awesome. Um, so grew up, I would say you would say it's a small town. So uh, went to Indian Lake High School. If it, people don't know where that is, that's just past town. So we're about 55 minutes northwest of Dublin. Um, but grew up out in the country. So, you know, small town, cornfield in my backyard, but grew up in an awesome neighborhood. There were a lot of young kids and we were always, always outside playing around sports everywhere. So no, I always had a blast growing up. Love the people that I grew up with and the relationships that I built. Um, and still friends with a lot of those people today. So did you have any, um, hobbies? I know you mentioned sports and you know, what did you get into as a kid? Sports, uh, sports and more sports. <laughs> it's like, that's <laughs> all I did. So, you know, the funny joke is, is, you know, obviously I have kids now I have three kids and, and, you know, they're into cartoons and stuff like that. And I, I'm always like, I was never into cartoons when I was a kid. And I, I just don't know why it was always sports. So I was just yeah, consumed. By I sports, was, so. no, I, I'm, I'm right there with you. I was always the one that had sports center, like going on loop for like three hours, even though I've already seen the same highlight the second time around, I was still right? watching it. But um, I, will, I will say, I, I will say as far as a hobby, I, I was always known though, to come home from school. And I would sit down on my living room floor and I would look through the newspaper. So I was always interested in current events, which I still am today. I always love to know what's going on around the world. So I guess you could say I was in, in, into the old school newspaper. How did you pick that up? I don't know. I just, I just was always, I always loved looking through the sports section of the newspaper naturally, you know, looking at the box score, you know, people, kids these days don't know looking at the box score means, but was always do that. And then I would just naturally just, you know, love to read headlines and, and see what's happening around the world. Every time we yeah. went on vacation, I made my mom buy me the USA Today wherever we were. That is funny. That's wild. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, you know, Greg Coleman. And Y'all love uh, Greg. I, I always joke with Greg. I'm like, I think you're the only person that I know that still gets a newspaper. <laughs> 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 like, you know, at least someone younger, you know, you know, 30s and 40s, it still gets a newspaper. Um, yeah. So that's awesome. That's awesome. So what um, so what was high school and, um, you know, did you go to college? Yeah, so high school was great. Um, graduated in 2004, went to college uh, for a short period of time at first, um, played basketball one year at Ohio State Lima. And then took some time off, didn't know what I wanted to do, really. And then actually had an opportunity with my aunt here in Columbus. So she opened one of the, she opened the very first Smoothie King uh, spot here in Columbus and Gehanna. So had a great opportunity with her when I was 20 years old, ran that, helped throughout the whole process, went down to franchisee training in New Orleans for two weeks. So really gained a lot of business acumen and really kind of got hands on with the business world, which, you know, looking back on that now, I'm like, what a great opportunity that gave me and really made me understand, hey, this is what it's like to run your own business, even though it wasn't my business. It kind of was like that point in life that it was like, I want to either run a company or run my own business. So like I did that for about two years and then moved on from that and then ended up going back to college full time. So went, uh, moved up to Bowling Green and, and went full time and got my bachelor's at Bowling Green State University. So I got to ask, are you still, do you still hoop? I still hoop. Try try to hoop every Tuesday night in Hilliard and it's a good really? run. Really? Yes. Oh man. I haven't touched a basketball probably in <laughs> two years now. Um, I grew up, I played basketball. I love basketball. Um, I, you know, I just got too, too out of shape and embarrassed to, to run up and down the floor. <laughs> we'll, we'll add you to the email list. I mean, Wednesday mornings are a little rough. <laughs> Your feet feel like they're broke. <laughs> I love it. So what did you originally, um, did you originally just go to OSU Lima just to play basketball or did you go for um, something specific as far as a, uh, like, did you know you wanted to go into business? Obviously the second time around, yes, but the first time. Yeah. So, so I always knew it's just my personality. I was always like, I just need to get a degree. I knew my personality would take me, you know, where I ever wanted to go in life. So didn't really know what I wanted to do when I first went to college. So I, I originally just went for, you know, your normal business degree. Um, basketball was a huge part of kind of pushing me into that first year of college. 
And then really once basketball season was over, I was just like, man, I don't know what I want to do anymore. So then, then kind of moved on from that for a short period of time. So you had the opportunity to to come to Columbus and, and you said it was your aunt, right? Yeah. And your aunt, you know, run, you know, a, a smoothie King franchise. Um, did you always have kind of like that, that, that need or that want to be in business um, from like, you know, growing up, like was someone in your family always that entrepreneur or that business minded person, or is it because you were just interested in, you know, all of the events in the newspaper and, and kind of studying, you know, current events that were going on? Yeah, I would say, I would say younger. So I didn't have anybody in my family that was really an entrepreneur. I would say though, as a younger person, everyone was always like, oh, you're such a people person. You're going to be in sales. So I always thought I'd be something in sales um, growing up. And then really once I, you know, had the opportunity with my aunt to, to run that business, it was more of a focus. I think, you know, not necessarily, Hey, it has to be a sales job, what I want to do, but it was more, you know, I love that aspect of ownership of running a team, you know, it kind of portrays off of that, you know, kind of basketball team. You know, I was a point guard and I always say, Hey, I always like to get everybody involved. And then once I had that opportunity as a kind of like upper tier in the business, you know, I had my team and I had, you know, helped them succeed. So I always felt that I would do something as far as a business owner and, or, you know, run a company president, CEO, or something like that. Yeah, that's awesome. And then, you know, um, you're there for a, a couple of years. What was one of the things that you've learned that you learned during that, during that process? Oh, wow. Something I learned. I guess it would just be, you know, you have a lot of things on your plate, so you can't. And I think, you know, when I look into real estate today is, you know, there's so many things on our plate as a realtor, as a team lead that you have to be able to juggle all those things. And when you're running a business like a Smoothie King and you're managing that, you're you're not just focused on one thing. You have so many different aspects of the business that you have to be on top of and make sure everything's running smoothly to have a successful business. So I think that really plays in my business today is, and you understand that as a, as a realtor and team lead is there's so many different things that happen on a day-to-day basis and they're never the same. 